I thought we were safe from the corona out here, but apparently not. Oh, thank goodness. I thought this was corona. It's Ziegenbach. Whew, close call there. Welcome to Survival Theory. I guess this will be chapter four in the shelter build. I haven't been here in a couple weeks, so gotta get these walls finished, get a tarp on the roof, make this a super shelter. So let's get busy. So what I've done is just woven in Yopon into the wall. Is it a somewhat concealed barrier? Um, I'm not trying to trap in any heat, especially with summertime on the way. It's already going to be close to 80 degrees today. So that's pretty cool. I'll clean up these ones that are sticking inside. Push them into the wall. But I'll touch that up later. But yet I'm doing it now. So I kind of like that. It'll keep out dogs, things like that. And of course I'll have a fence eventually, I think, around the perimeter to keep out vicious animals. Yeah, talking to you. Now I was going to do something different on this wall. But I like the way that turned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for this wall, but use less pine uprights. That's less um, lashings I have to do, less cordage, and I'll be able to weave stuff in there. It'll be pretty strong. So I'm gonna do that here. So as you know, we're not getting the views that we're supposed to get with the dog. So I was wondering if maybe we should bring in a pack animal. But what kind of pack animal, you know? Something small, but something that can carry a lot of weight. Hmm. Hurry up with that tarp. Let's go, let's go, double time. Yeah, I know, that's crazy. Let's just stick to the plan. A boy and his dog out in the woods building a fort. Let's just stick to the plan. None of that crazy pack animal stuff.
So that knot messed me up quite a bit, but turned out alright. Be a decent window seal. I ended up having to leave for a while because my Corona saw has a couple of bent teeth on it and it's getting very dull and I was really suffering to get through these logs so I ran and grabbed my uh, oh which one is this I forgot but this one it's a good one yeah I do have a silky but I usually save that for outings so I'm using this as a backup and I went and got gloves. So got the window sealed done, but it took me a while because I had to leave. Well, let's get busy. Yeah, that'll work. So I'm back again today. I lost a lot of time yesterday because <clears throat> I had to replace my saw and go get gloves, things like that. And then I had some shopping to do in the evening. But today I want to get that tarp up because it's going to rain tomorrow. I just want to go ahead and get the roof on there and then I'll work on the walls and things like that after the roof. So I have an overhang on the front and back, but I do not have an overhang on each side. So that's what I've got to take care of now. I've got to debark two more logs, put one on each side for the side overhang, and then get that tarp up. You know, it's probably a good thing I changed out saws because, I mean, this is a Corona saw. Probably better to use another saw at this time. Yeah, it doesn't bother you. That stuff hanging from your mouth. Yeah, that's funny.
All right, so because of the overhang, the distance I want on the overhang, it falls about, you know, towards the center of this pine tree. So I had to cut off the excess on that end. And I don't need this attached to this, this beam attached to the tree anymore. I'm already attached on the other side. same situation on this side it's attached to the tree on the other side of the beam so I'm going to disconnect it here cut it off here at the overhang Now on this 12 by 16, that gives me just enough to cover the overhang on the side. Of course, I've got plenty for the back. And once I pull that tarp tight, there'll be just enough for the overhang on this side. And it looks like I've got about five or six feet left over on the front, which is cool. I'll make a big overhang. And I can pull this down and weight it down when I'm gone. It's a lot darker in here now, that's for sure. Alright, get this tied off. Up with that tarp, would you? Oh, you dropped it. <laughs> 